Hey, what's going on guys? It's Jess, your host for Mondays on the Beaver Bunch. So it's raining, it's fantastic, it's so beautiful and I love it. I'm such a sap that one of my favorite, favorite things to do is to wake up in the morning all cuddled up and listen to the rain. Not gonna lie, it's kind of gross. Um, but it's fun and it's finally raining, so that means that it's winter in San Diego and the holidays are here, so I'm excited about all of that. Um, I've done this video three times. Three. One, two, three. Yeah, I don't know what's wrong with me. I can't seem to get it right or get it exactly how I want it, so I'm gonna try, I'm gonna try to make this one it finished, done, so I can publish it because it's 2.45 and I'm an ass for not putting it up earlier today. All right, so what we're talking about this week is life after high school. So basically we've discussed everything that we've, not everything, but we've discussed things that we've done in high school and we've discussed all of the trials and tribulations that we've had to go through. So now we're going to talk about what we did after high school to get us to where we are today. That's a really long story for me, and so I'm gonna try to touch on the basics. Um, I've moved around a lot, and so it's it's really it's a really long story. So let's begin. After high school, I moved out with my first girlfriend, and we got a one-bedroom apartment, we shopped at Ikea, we shopped at Home Depot, we got a tiny little puppy, and then we broke up. Whatever. It happens. So, after that, I decided that I was going to move up with some friends to San Francisco area, and then, well, it was the San Francisco area, and then um, I moved to Sacramento immediately after that because that's where everybody was residing. Uh, they just kept making the commute to San Francisco. So I lived in Sacramento for a while where I met my second girlfriend, number two. And we had a good time. We partied a lot. Uh, might have done some things that we probably shouldn't have, but I was in my early 20s and it was fun for the moment, but I don't condone doing drugs. Drugs are bad. Very bad. So Sacramento. And then she and I decided that we were going to go to Reno, Nevada, which is not too far from Sacramento, and live there for a couple years. That's where she was from. We didn't just up and decide one day that we wanted to move to Reno. Yeah, no, no. So we lived in Reno for a couple years. We broke up. I got a new girlfriend during that time, and that was a mess. It's number three. Um, that was a really, really big mess. And a mistake. I definitely made a mistake by getting with that girlfriend, but it's okay because I broke up with her and promptly moved back that direction to San Francisco where I had a fantastic time. This was, this was in 2005 and I had a really good time. I was in the scene, I was partying, I was working nine to five. Life was good. It was fun. I had a good time. And, um, it, you know, when things are really, really good, there it has to, at some point it has to not necessarily come to an end, but something's got to change. Like you can't just continue to have this amazing, fantastic partying lifestyle. You have to something has to give, right? So um, I ended up getting a, another girlfriend, number four, and she moved to San Diego, California. And uh, because she was going to school so we were talking on the phone all the time but we could never actually uh, we could never actually see each other which was really frustrating and the first six months of our relationship was on the phone so one day I decided that I was going to stop everything that I was doing in San Francisco and move back down to San Diego good old San Diego it took me so long to get used to living here because the scene here is a lot different than any other scene that I've lived in so um, I basically stayed in my little relationship cocoon and we both went to school and worked and lived together and it was, it was good. It was very cohesive and it really helped me. Uh, I needed to go back to school. It was something that I had put off from the time I graduated high school because I wasn't sure that college was something that I actually wanted to pursue. And 
right now I'm taking the semester off so that I could do, I think I've talked about this before, so that I can do a reevaluation of sorts to make sure that what it is that I want to major in is exactly what I want to do. Don't ask me what it is because I still don't know. I'm working on it. I don't know. I want to do everything. So we'll see. But right now I am single, not with the girlfriend that I moved down here for. However, she and I are best friends and she's fantastic. In fact, this is her room. I'm where we hang out all the time. And uh, yeah, so that's what I'm doing right now. I'm, I'm trying to figure things out. I'm trying to figure out exactly what I want to do with life, uh, what I want to do with school, where I want to go. And to be honest, this is San Diego is the longest living in San Diego is the longest that I've lived anywhere since I graduated high school. And it's kind of a it's kind of a challenge for me. I'm sort of challenging myself to stay here and to figure things out and to make it my own, if that makes sense. So that's what I'm doing right now. I don't have a girlfriend. <laughs> I'm a dirty whore. Four girlfriends. Really? What the hell? So yeah, um, I'm dating. I'm dating someone, but I don't have a girlfriend. Uh, I'm dating. And things are good. Life is good. Life is fun. It's interesting. If I have any advice to give from, from this particular video and the whole life after high school thing, um, take your time in deciding what you want to do. Don't ever feel rushed or forced to make a decision about going to college or about taking time off. If you feel like you need to take some time off, do it. I'm, I'm here to attest and to vouch for those that have taken time off that it's a good thing. It's okay to do. Um, college is amazing and education is fantastic and I absolutely condone getting an education, some sort of a higher education, but it's okay if you want to take some time off and make sure that it's right for you. So with that, I'm done with my video. I hope that it was somewhat entertaining. I know that um, I rambled and ranted a lot, so I hope you stayed with me for the entire seven and a half minutes that this video was. And have a good week. I will see you guys next month. So apparently I cut myself off. Um, yeah, uh, have a good week and a good day and all that other good stuff. And I'll see you guys next Monday.